Hi guys, um, right, uh, I had this out, this, you should have seen the video by now, um, I had it out, um, towards the end of the video, there's just a little shot of it sat on, sat on the table outside after, it was only a quick run, and it was absolutely full of just debris off the ground and stuff, and well, it was just absolutely full of stuff. Um, now, <laughs> I'm not used to seeing that much stuff to just end up inside the car, but um, I did know from a quick run out before I ended up with a stone in it, so the solution was always going to be something like this, and I've got, I've got one of these on my 1.8, and they're brilliant, they're absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to take this off, and you can see what it is, and I'll show you how I fitted it. They're made by some company called Dusty Motors. Dead useful, dead useful. I should have filmed it, filming putting it on really, but I just tapped on and did it. So the principle behind them is really simple. Get it off, right. So all this is, all this is, and I'll put it completely the way you get it. You basically just get this, it's like a shroud and it's made this, this material is breathable, so it doesn't block in any heat or anything. But it just stops, just stops the uh, moisture if it's wet. It stops the stops a lot of wet getting into it. But more importantly, it stops all the rocks and bits of crud and all sorts of other stuff getting into it. So I ordered one of these yesterday, and it turned up today, which is just amazing service by Model Sport. So it comes in this. Uh, comes in this, this little nice bit of a packaging there. And you get some Velcro with it. So you get some Velcro with it. It's got the other side of the Velcro on, on this shroud thing. And all you do is cut the Velcro and line the chassis. So you've got the chassis completely lined around the sides. So that's where it can stick. Did try my one eighth one on it. It was obviously miles too big, but I just wanted to check if it was going to be a, a good idea. So, to put this on from scratch, and you don't have to do this all the time because obviously once it's on, if, unless you're working on it, you don't need to. You don't need to put it on again. You just come round underneath. This bit could be just a little bit fiddly at the front. Find out where the front is. I don't need the stand for this. And then basically. Just massage it into the right place, so a little bit too close to the front. All I'm doing is just lining it up really. So you just want it to run along the line of Velcro to the back. And it doesn't matter if it's not super tidy, because you pull it all together, and that's what tidies it all up. So great, great idea, whoever invented it, it's a brilliant idea. So, you want it fairly close at the front, and it doesn't affect the steering or anything, because this is going right near the steering. All it does is stop the stuff from getting in there. So, I'll just run that along there. You're not going to have to take this on and off all the time. The only time you have to take it off completely is obviously when you're working on it. So that's the sides done, and all you do then, now that's all bundled up in there, is pull this toggle until it's nice and tight. A bit awkward from where I'm doing it. But then you just wrap it around something, and on this one it looks like the suspension's the best place to do it. So that's that wrapped around there, out of the way. See how tight that's pulled that completely tight. Pretty much nothing can get in there now. Um, I'll do the same at the back. Slightly easier at the back. Goes onto the body pins at the back. You can just pull it down nice and tight, tight as you want. And then I'm going around these body pins. And then just flip it over there, flip it over there, and that's it. Right, and then, so you can still get inside it, you can still 
get in to do whatever you want and you can still get to the, the on and off button just by going through it. Get your battery in there okay. A um, little bit more fiddly to get the battery in if that's there. But um, in fact, let's try that. I'm gonna try that. I haven't tried it yet to get a battery in. So if you're gonna put your battery in, then slide it underneath, depending on which way around you're gonna have it. A bit tight here, and I can't remember which way around this battery goes. So just get it seated, which is about there. And pull your strap down, and you're done. So all you want to do then obviously is get that out of the way. Connect it up, then do the zip up, and it's fully enclosed then. You can't get, I mean, you just don't get muck in there anymore. I mean, there's probably a few bits that need sticking down a bit better. Um, but yeah, so that's my solution to stop the crud from getting in there. I think it looks good as well. Um, and yeah. I'm quite pleased with that. You have to get the right size for your chassis. You just measure the sides and then they've got different sizes. But yeah, just for a quick update on that because it was absolutely chock-a-block filthy. I even used half a can of compressed air to blow it out yesterday, which is a bit bad. Normally I'd just give it a shake and it'd be done. So yeah, there we go. That's the Dusty Motors shroud for the chassis. I'm happy with that.